an organization that promotes African stories as a means to, to uh, providing educational opportunities and preserving African culture. So I'm going to paint a visual image and I invite you to, to picture this in your heads with me. So let's imagine together a very rural Ghana. And it's the very first day of school for a five-year-old girl, Amunata. Amunata is so excited. She walks happily into her class, takes a seat, and finds before her, on her desk, her very first storybook, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now, since Amunata can't read English yet, um, she can only flip through the pages, so she begins to do that. And she peers strangely into this foreign land of snow and apples. Now, Aminata lives in very rural Ghana, so there's no electricity. So she's never seen ice before, and so we don't even begin to conceptualize what snow could possibly be. Aminata will be taught to read a foreign language with such books by a teacher who herself cannot conceptualize what these things are. Now, Aminata's story is in many ways my own story, and the story of generations of African children. Over the past 50 years, there's been a book farming on the African continent, and one of the most important ways in which this farming has been addressed is by collecting donated books from various parts of the world and sending them to African, African children. Now, while of course it's important for children to meet about other people, it's critical that they read about themselves as well. So if all children have our books about other people, situations like Aminata's will be the norm and not the exception. I started my organization, Golden Bible, to address this. We find the very best African writers and illustrators and support them, connect them to publishing opportunities, and get them to produce captivating, beautiful African storybooks for children. As we think about development and look to address very, very critical and important issues, I implore us not to forget who we are and where our stories are. In the next 10 years, I hope we can visualize together Amnata's little sister's first day of school, and, and on her desk will be a little picture book about a small girl from Rogana who wants to be a school teacher when she grows up. Thank you.